everyone, uh, today is a short one, this is a really short tutorial, I'll explain you uh, an easy, really very easy thing to do in GDevelop, but apparently it's not very very obvious, because I'm still getting many many questions about how did you make your camera smooth. So smooth camera meaning like if I run, run my uh, example project, I have my character, I have my platforms, and if I move the character, the camera moves after me, right? So it doesn't move at the same time, it has this uh, little bit of delay, and also it does it really smoothly, right? So if I jump here, you see it catching up, but really, really smoothly. So I'll explain you immediately how this is done, it's, it's very, very easy. Okay, so we are now in our events screen, so uh, we need to add an event, so we need to tell um, GDevelop that uh, a camera should always uh, follow our player, right? So. And usually, uh, this is how I did it the first time I actually opened to develop. It's, you know, always, so I leave it empty here. And search for camera. And center the camera on an object, right? So, and our player. And I have any other options uh, other than, like, you know, set the camera. Which camera and, uh, you know, the uh, layer. Okay? So I press OK. Uh, if I run the game. You see, like, uh, our camera follows exactly at the same time our player, right? So, it's okay, that might work, but, uh, you know, I found it uh, a little bit, uh, you know, not, not very interesting, right? I, I really want the camera to move a little bit in a different way. So, in order to do that, uh, we can do it with a really, really easy expression, right? So, we leave uh, always here, so uh, we don't put anything here, so this will happen always. We add an action. We always uh, search, search for camera, camera central uh, center x position, so on the uh, horizontal axis. We say it equals to, and here we're gonna use something called lerp. Uh, this is an expression which basically what it does, it takes uh, first number and takes the second number and interpolate uh, everything in between by using this number and this number is the duration basically so um, what we're gonna do here so the first uh, number is the position of our camera right camera x now uh, we add here so from camera x it should move to uh, focus on our player so we say player dot x position and uh, this is this should be the amount of time so how how smooth this transition gonna be right so the smaller is the number the longer the transition is gonna be so if you put something like 0 0.05 okay and then we press ok you run the game now you see if we move on the horizontal axis the camera moves uh, smoothly right so it just after you know we stopped moving and this already starts to feel nice, so as I said, like this value will determine how fast or slow this should be. So if you put like something like 001, the transition is gonna be really long, right? Something like this. And it looks really nice, but maybe that's too much, okay? So I'll just leave here 0 0.05, okay? And then, you know, uh, obviously if we run it now, uh, this happens only horizontally, so if we jump, it doesn't happen. Uh, so another thing we need to do is to do the same thing for the Y axis, so uh, for the vertical. So camera, center ca on Y position equals, and we're gonna use lerp again. Lerp, uh, camera Y this time, okay. And still, it should go to player dot y position. So we do basically the same thing, but we just replace it with y. And here, choose camera y, right? And we still do 0 0.05. Okay. And then, if we press OK, everything should work. So we have really, really nice, smooth camera movement, right? You just jump and it follows and I think this feels already very very nice I really love this uh, this effect okay so and this is basically it I told you this is gonna be a really really short one but this I think this is one of the basics uh, every platformer game should have or any other game I mean it creates really nice effect and uh, I really hope that this helped uh, and uh, that people can refer to this video to just do it really really quickly 
And uh, if you like this video, I have many, many more about GDevelop and how to use different features of it. So please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, uh, join my Discord, and see you next time for the for another video.